Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to add audio to your avatar so you can play music in the game or just add an audio effect or I don't know, a meme, whatever you want, but audio related. So first thing you got to do is go to your files and you got to find the audio that you download. It should be an MP3 file, it could be a WAV file, it could be a OGG file, anything like that. You can also go to this YouTube to MP3. So if you need a song, just go to YouTube, get the link, throw it in here, change it to an MP3. Once you have your file though, you're going to go to your files and drag and drop it into your assets folder. And you'll see an MP3 file pop up right here or whatever file you chose. Um, we don't need to mess with any of this, just leave all that. We're now going to go to our hierarchy and right click and create an audio source audio audio source and you'll see this pops up with inspector is going to show us a bunch of different settings for the audio which we're going to change momentarily first thing we want to do is take our audio and drag it into the audio clip in the inspector just take this and drag it into there and then i like to bypass all these effects this is optional but and i like to set the priority all the way to the left which is the highest priority that just means that your music will be louder compared to other sounds in the game Almost everyone in VR chat puts their priority to the, all the way to the left, so I highly su suggest you do that. Last thing we're going to do here is go to the volume roll-off. We're going to change it to linear. And now this part is up to you, but I would definitely set the max distance to about 20 because it's probably going to be the farthest distance you want for people to hear your audio. Now the minimum distance here is up to you. The way I have it set up now, you can see there's a small circle here. That simply means that as soon as you get outside of this tiny little circle, it will start getting quieter as you move away. Now if we change this to 10, for example, you'll see that everything inside this first bubble will hear the music as loud as it can get. It'll be the loudest. But as soon as you hit the edge of this bubble and start going towards this bubble, it will start fading in between here. But everything in this bubble will be loud. So what I like to do is usually set it to about 10 to 20 or 15 to 20. So that just gives it, everyone that's near you can hear it at the max volume, but it will slowly roll off at the very tip. I'll probably do 10 and 20, that sound looks pretty good. Okay, so once you mess with all that, you can go to your audio source, you can rename it, I like to do, just so you know what it is. I'll rename it, rename it Blind Spot, because that's the name of the song. And then, now what we're gonna do is we need to go to our, to our hierarchy again and we need to create one more thing. We gotta create empty and that's going to create a game object. Now game objects are used for gestures and toggling things on and off. That's how we're gonna be able to toggle this music on and off in the game. Otherwise your avatar likes to break. I've experienced this firsthand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this audio source in the hierarchy and we're gonna drag it onto the game object. Bam, like that. Now you can see I can expand and close the game object. You'll also notice that the audio source is turned on. It's active by default. So what we're now gonna do is go to our Rbot and we need to put this game object onto our avatar because right now it's not connected to anything. Um, what I like to do is put it on the hips of the avatar. So just find the hips on your model and drag your game object onto the hips. So now when I expand hips, you'll see game object. And we want to, and now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this game object off. The reason why we're turning the game object off is because we don't want to join the game and hear our music just by joining the game by default. We want to be able to toggle it on and off, which we're about to make that toggle. So we can close the hips. Game object is turned off. Close the hips. Close all this. And now we're going to make a gesture animation. So if you don't have this animation tab right here already, you'll want to go to window and then animation animation and that will pop up the animation window and you can drag it down to right here it may take you a sec to drag it but you'll figure it out and you just got to put it right here and so what we're going to do now is click on our bot our avatar we're going to go to animation and you'll notice that um, it's showing all the keyframes for the idle animation it says idle read only because they don't want you to change it so this is the idle animation keyframes so we don't want that. So we're going to change this. We're going to go right here. And now it's showing all the animations for the avatar. Um, but none of these, we're not editing anything. We're actually going to make a new animation. So we want create new clip. And I'm going to call this blind spot toggle. Okay. And now 
we are going to add our audio. So where it says add property, click that, find your hips. So in this case, I think it's under right here, hips and find your game object. And you're gonna wanna make your game object active. You'll see these little plus marks. You want game object is active, click the plus. And now you'll see that two keyframes have popped up. There's one right here at the start and there's also one here at the end. Um, and by the way, you can use this white line to move around, but you have to click up here in the time bar in order to move it. If you click right here, it won't do anything. So what we're gonna do now is make this key, this first keyframe right here, so drag it all the way here. We're gonna check mark this, and we're gonna move these keyframes to the very second keyframe. Should look like this. So there should be two keyframes right here. The second one, we're also gonna check it. So we have two keyframes that are check marked, and they're right next to each other. And you can go back and forth like this. And that looks good. So now that we've done that, um, you don't really have to mess with anything else. You just, it saves automatically. There's no save button. So you just go back to your project. Actually, well, first thing we gotta do is we gotta switch back to idle, where it did it. It's just kind of going fast on me. But yeah, you'll switch back to your idle animation. And then we'll go to project and we can close all this. It's up to you, it doesn't really matter, but I'll just close it. And you are finished. Now you have to put the animation into your overrides. You'll see this blind spot toggle. We're gonna drag this into either finger point, fist, handgun, hand open. All of those are gestures. So some of those, I guess you could also do victory, possibly rock and roll. Um, but I put mine on finger point, which should be F4, shift F4. So you can see blind spot toggles right there. So we are finished with that. Now all we gotta do is hit file save just before you upload it and go to here, upload your avatar. Make sure there's no errors, fix any errors you have. Check the terms and conditions and hit upload. All right, update complete. So now we're gonna head to VRChat real quick and we're going to test it out. With our YouTube sex avatar. Love it. So we'll go to avatar, let's say YouTube. Change and do it'll let me change okay there we go all right we're actually larger than before because I changed the uh, size so our eyes are down the legs but if I hit F4 you should be able to hear the music Last century. you can move around with it as well since it's a gesture you can also hit Shift F1 to turn it off, but there you go, Shift F1, turns it off. So that's how you make audio or add audio to your avatar, super simple. Um, this avatar is extremely ugly and it's just used for test purposes. I promise this is not uh, something that is the extent of my work. <laughs> okay, thanks y'all for watching, have fun with audio, see you later.